What is up, reviewees and how toies? Uh, coming at you with a how to, actually. We're going to be making seitan in the kitchen today, which is a vegetarian, vegan meat substitute. Um, key to that whole thing vital wheat gluten. You can make it from whole wheat flour, but you got to wash it and rinse it and do that. So if you just buy some um, and then add a few ingredients, you can get a pretty good high protein meat substitute. So for three ounces, it's got like 130 calories, a gram and a half of fat, and like 20, 21 grams of protein in it. So it's gonna go up against anything. We're actually making it because uh, St. Patty's days are right around the corner and I love a good Reuben. So we're gonna make this into a Reuben. So we are gonna add some nice Swiss cheese to it. Um, but we've made it before for the copycat Chick-fil-A sandwich, which is awesome. We don't have a video for that yet, but we do need to make those again. Those are really good. Um, you can put it in the fridge and just slice it like deli meat. You can make, uh, you know, a fake bacon out of it. So kind of however you flavor it, um, you, it takes on the, the flavor of meat. So um, let's get into it, guys. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. We need to hit a thousand subscribers. That's how this whole process works. YouTube's just making money off of us until we get a thousand subscribers. Then we get a little kickback. So please go ahead and do that. Like the algorithm likes us to like that video. So share this with all your friends and family. Even if you're not a vegetarian, guys, this is pretty good. All right, let's go. Welcome to the Review Board! Sit right down and just enjoy. Eat it on steak before you go out and buy. These are the guys. The Review Board! Welcome to the Review Board! Sit right down and just enjoy. Jake, Joe, Edie, Puff, and the boys are on the Review Board. Welcome to the Review Board! Yeah! So... We, from the magic of television and editing, already threw together our um, dry ingredients. So, wheat gluten, we've got our um, nutritional yeast, also good as a Parmesan cheese substitute. So, throw it on your pasta. You can also top your um, uh, popcorn with it, tastes good. And some chickpea flour. Uh, we have a few pounds left of that. So put that into your bowl. Um, I'm going to throw the, you know, proportions up there. So it's like total about a cup and a half. Then we've got uh, some more dry ingredients. Um, some oregano, garlic powder, salt, pepper, um, basil, onion powder. So that's all going in the bowl. Nice. We've got our wet ingredients. Pretty simple. Um, wet ingredients here, three quarters cup water, about teaspoon and a half of soy sauce, all right, or tamari, we're using tamari, and about a tablespoon of olive oil. Go ahead, pour that into the middle. Now we are going to add a little bit of this because it's going to have a little bit of a chicken flavor to it, but it's a um, chicken style seasoning. So kind of, it's better than bouillon is what it claims. You can go ahead and add that to your soy curls, which is why we got it. And it does, so just a little bit of that there. All right. And then we're gonna get to mixing guys. And pretty soon uh, we're gonna get those hands into it. So we've already washed that obviously. You're in the kitchen guys. So let's go ahead. Um, Appreciate it. This is going to be good here. Let's get this going. That's starting to form a dough. We've got our pot of water boiling. Make sure you start that first. You know, it's not a pot. You're steaming. So, you know, just a couple inches of water in the bottom. Your steamer basket, because that's what this is going to go in once we uh, knead this and get it going here. So we got our hands into this. Um, not too bad. You're just forming it. Make sure there's no, uh, Remember, don't overwork. Yeah. As Mrs. Review Board reminded me, and don't it overwork it. Gets a little too chewy. So you're just forming it together like that. I mean, I think that's looking pretty good, guys. 
Everything's together. All right. Pretty cool there. So let's put it together a little bit. Now, whatever shape you can make it in, so a loaf, a roll, you know, it's going to keep that form. So when we made the ch chicken patties for the fake Chick-fil-A sandwiches, um, we formed it like that. So we're just going to do that because then we're going to cut off little pieces. Now, this is all one take wonder here. I haven't even had to edit this. This is just going off the dome here. Cheesecloth. If you have a tea towel, a kitchen towel, you're going to moisten this. Um, run it under some water. Go ahead. This is going to wrap up our loosely wrapped because as it um, cooks, it's going to expand. All right. So I'll just put it in there. Now we're going to go ahead, put it into our pot of water. Okay, we got our steamer basket in there. Fog up the lens, I'm sure. Drop that, drop it like it's hot. All right, also not a bad recipe to double or even triple if you're making it. Um, go ahead and put the lid on it. This is gonna go for 40 minutes, okay? So you're gonna wanna keep an eye on it. Make sure that steam's coming out. Let's set that timer. So, like I said, good recipe to double or triple because, you know, you can easily, after it's cooled down, you can freeze this for up to three to six months and then just pull it out, let it come to room temperature, warm it back up in the oven, throw it in your air fryer, you know. And we're back. All right, timer's going off. Let's shut that annoying sound off. Okay. That's hot, turn that off. Okay, let's see if we can get that out. Okay, there it is. Let's unwrap it and see what it looks like. Okay, that is hot. Careful. Okay, so you can tell it definitely expanded. Um, all right, there we go. Looks delicious, I know, right? <laughs> Yummy, who wants some? Uh, let's go. But that is, so it's spongy to the touch. All right, now at this point, it is done. You have it. But we are going to now take it to the next level. Um and marinate it. Um, I know. Come on, I'm like, Mrs. Review Board, let's get up on my face, I know. The money maker, as we like to call it around here. Okay, so we've got that done. You could go ahead, cool, let it cool, store it in the freezer, like we said, the fridge. Um, but we are making faux corn beef, right, for St. Patty's Day to make those Rubens. So, Okay, I'm making the marinade here. Half a teaspoon of dill, right about there. We've already got some garlic powder, some onion powder, some caraway seed in there. How much fennel do we need? A fourth a teaspoon. Fourth a teaspoon. So there, fourth a teaspoon, guys. Mustard, ground mustard. How much ground mustard? A dash. Ooh, a little dash will do ya. And a little bit more, okay? And ground pepper. Ooh, pepper. Coming at you. How much? Guys, I like pepper That's here, enough. so everybody, you know, I usually use more pepper. Do we got salt? No. No salt. Okay. Is that all the dry ingredients we need? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, cup of pickle juice right in here, because we are making this marinade, you know, cup. Looks like this. Wait, wait, no. There's a measuring cup right there. Yeah, we don't need a measuring cup, guys. Good gosh. We're just making a marinade. We're not baking a cake here. I followed the directions for the wheat gluten, the bread, the dough, the meat substitute. So, I mean, come on, guys. I'm not great at following directions. Shout out. Comment if you're not great at following directions. Okay, and some... Ooh, we love pickled beets. This will be good for a salad. But how much uh, pickled beet juice? Three, four. Oh, better get that cup measure out, guys. That's what I thought. All right, there we go. Ooh, that's gonna give that that color that corned beef has. Mm -hmm. Gosh, so smart. Okay, anything else? Whisk it. Whisk it up, baby. 
And then um, we are gonna take that. Let's go ahead and put it in there. And then obviously, I'd say leave this in overnight. 24 hours would be good. Um, but there's probably a direction on there that Mrs. Review Board will tell me. But guys, when you're marinating stuff like- One you know, to two days. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we're gonna do the two days to really let it soak up. Um, once in a while, flip it over, let that stuff get in there. And then uh, we'll show you how this turns out. This is pretty cool. Yeah, I told you I don't follow directions well. Mrs. Review Board back there, she goes, well, you were supposed to slice that thinly and then throw it in there, which makes sense when you're marinating, guys. Um, okay, and what is this knife? Like, come on, guys. We got our good knife, and we don't cut on a plate. <laughs> Jeez. We need a good review board. Excuse me here. Review board. Puff made review board. All right, go ahead, because we're going to be putting this on a Reuben, making it on bread. We're going to slice this thinly. Oh, yeah. Act like you've done this before. There we go. So now, oh, that looks nice. Look at that. Okay, go ahead. Now we're gonna put that in. That's gonna be so much better than the whole thing, and it's gonna work so much faster. So, all right, guys. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna skip that part out there. This is a review board. <laughs> I'm not gonna skip that part out. We we keep everything in here. We're raw, raw reviews. So raw how tos. So we mess up. We come back, we show you. This is gonna be good. I mean, it really does look like meat. Look at that already. Like, look at that. All right, guys. Seitan into corned beef. Let's go. All right. Hey, happy St. Patty's Day. All right, here we go. What is up, reviewees? Making the Thousand Island dressing now to go on these uh, Rubens here in a couple days. And like everything, we make it up put it in the fridge, a few extra days will make it taste good. So we're gonna use this new vegan mayo from Hellman's because um, Hellman's makes everything taste better. Smells like mayo. It does actually, for a vegetarian mayo, um, so it has no eggs, does taste pretty darn good. So we're going quarter cup of, no, that doesn't go <laughs> in there. So, you know, we gotta use a spoon. There we go. Mrs. Review Board likes her measurements, so. We'll stick to the measurements. That's a quarter cup where I'm from. <laughs> that is a quarter cup where I am from. There we go, guys. And then we've got uh, three tablespoons, some ketchup. You know, there's gonna be debate. We have hunts here. Um, no added fructose corn syrup. Um, there's gonna be a clientele that prefer Heinz. Hey, listen, if you've got it, use it. Uh, I'm not a real I don't use ketchup too often, so I'm not real picky on that ketchup, but you know, comment. Are you Heinz or Hunts? There is definitely a debate. I'm more of a mayonnaise person, so definitely Hellman's. Um, so then some pickles. So I think she said a few tablespoons of pickles, but we're just gonna run a rough chop through that. There we go. Couple tablespoons right there. You know, looks good. This review board's eyes are like, what the heck are you doing? Thousand Island dressing right there, guys. Homemade. Look at that. You know, you can add a little more ketchup if you want to. Add some more of that. Don't worry. I'm going to use those pickles. I'm going to throw more in there. Let's see here. No salt, no pepper. That's it. All right. Let's see here. Well, I mean, I'm going to get rid of this spoon, so let's just see. Oh yeah, I mean, for vegetarian mayo, that's pretty good. Check it out. We've got a decent uh, following of uh, vegetarians, so guys, but even if you're not, this is a great recipe. I can't wait to try it. We'll bring you that sandwich when we get to it. All right, guys, enjoy. Well, well you're not going to enjoy this, but hopefully you do. Hopefully you make it and let us know. Let us know if it's as good as we think it is. All right, guys. I mean, I'll be back in like two days, but for you guys, it'll be like two seconds. And we're back. <laughs> All right, what is up, reviewees? We're back. You haven't gone anywhere, but it's been 48 hours. We got our uh, seitan marinated about every once in a while. Flip that around. Looking good. 
um, but we got to warm that up before we turn it into a Reuben. We went ahead for you. We didn't show you all this. Sauteed up some onions and peppers, warmed up our uh, sauerkraut. Sauerkraut, great uh, probiotic gut health benefits there. Um, it's really good if you eat it cold, but um, now we're going to warm this up. Oh, yeah. Sizzling up nice. So we're going to let that go to enjoy. Saute it up probably about two to three minutes per side just to warm through and kind of kind of crisp up a little bit. All right, we're getting there. Yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, now we're ready for the actual assembly of the Reuben. Now, I did save us on this one. The directions that Mrs. Review Board got said to put this in a toaster. No, that's not how you make a Reuben, or guys, just so you know. You make it like a grilled cheese, and we love our grilled cheese. So, hey, trick, if you don't know it, listen, we don't give away things for free. Go ahead, subscribe to the channel, all right, if you want this tip. Well, we're going to give it to you anyway, but because we're nice. So you might want to just do something nice for us. Mayonnaise. So we've got our uh, vegan mayo there from Hellman's. Um, that Mrs. Review Board bought. Guys, way easier than putting butter on it. Just put that out all to the edges there. So much easier. We've already got them all done. It's going to be great. So, throw a little bit of our homemade uh, Thousand Island dressing you saw us make. Put that on. Let's be liberal with it, right? Coat that. That stuff's good. Let's give it some... Good uh, Reuben flavor, right? Nice. Okay. Okay, doing its thing. Swiss cheese. One piece or two? Well, there's only one right answer, guys. It's three, just so you know. Now, we'll <laughs> go two. <laughs> All right, two pieces of Swiss cheese. Now, sauerkraut. We're going to layer the sauerkraut. Now, guys, just full disclosure, Mrs. Review Board uh, also wanted onions and uh, some sauteed vegetables. So some peppers on there. So we're gonna do that for not traditional Reuben, but you know, it's gonna taste good. Look at that. It's definitely gonna taste good. Nice amount of sauerkraut on there, guys. Don't, yeah, get your fingers. Nice, get those fingers in there. This is gonna be huge. Huge. You know, now normally if it was mine, I'd throw another piece of cheese on top. But guys, this is for Mrs. Re Review Board. So now our, our faux corned beef that we made, look at that. Looking like corned beef. Nice. It's already warmed up. Look at that. This is what we made. Ow, that one's hot, guys. All right. So that's our seitan that we made. Other piece of bread. Oh, more of our... Uh, Thousand Island dressing, nice. With those pickles in there, ketchup, mayo, simple, let's go. All right, put it together right, there we go. All right, now it would have been really nice if we had had a panini press ready for this. That thing is a monster, so we're gonna let that go. Um, and this thing's gonna, <sighs> smelling good, guys. All right, we're gonna try to flip it. It's been like 90 seconds, two minutes here. Um, cheese is starting to melt. So, guys, this is uh, the moment of truth here. All right. So let's get that. Oh, let's see. Did our vegan mayo work? Okay, here we go. Ready? Okay, ready. Quick. One, <laughs> two. Oh, oh. nailed it. <laughs> Nailed that, look at that. Hey, and look at the trick with the mayo. Nice, so much easier to spread than butter. Um, faster, works. That was a pretty good flip. Back up on this money maker, come on. I mean, like 8.9 on the flip. Most of the stuff, but don't worry, all that's gonna get back on the sandwich is gonna be delicious. That cheese is now melting over everything. Let's go. All right, so it's been about another two minutes. We're going to go ahead, get this off of the pan. 
nice. The cheese is nice and ooey gooey. I mean, look at this coming down the sides. <laughs> you can't, you can't can tell, tell, guys. Oh yeah, the bottom. Ooh, hot. Okay, all this stuff. Let's get on the plate because we're gonna eat that. Sorry. All right. I need to give that a few seconds, but let's. Whoa, whoa. This is way too okay. Look at that, guys. The cheese running down over the seitan, the faux corned beef. I mean, that's what you like to hear. <laughs> Toaster. We were going to toast it. That guy's not a Reuben. You got to grill this thing. I mean, don't skimp, right? All right, let's cut into it. It's, it's cool enough, right? It's probably not. But what's Petey's rule? One sip, scorch it, and score it. Okay? Look at this thing. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Guys, that looks like a Reuben if I've ever seen it. Let's taste it. Oh. Oh, the rye bread. Key, you got to have rye bread on a Reuben. I forgot to mention what style bread, but obviously you knew we were making a Reuben. We weren't using any other kind of bread. Swiss cheese, a must. So like Petey said, literally every worst thing. He does not like any of those things individually, but as a sandwich, it works. Right, Petey? No, I love all of this stuff. Ready? Oh, that is good. Now, I mean, I'd put that up. Guys, you got to try this. Even if you're not a vegan, not a vegetarian, the flavors in there, that tastes like a Reuben. The, the corned beef working. I mean, this with the sauerkraut, the peppers and onions just add a little bit. You don't need those if you don't want them. Not on a traditional Reuben. Swiss cheese. That was awesome. For our vegetarian friends, you know, please try it. If you're not vegetarian, please try it. Comment. Let us know what you think. Hopefully you guys can uh, maybe get this out there for St. Patty's Day. If not, a random Tuesday is great. So, guys, thank you. We appreciate it. Come back. Check out everything else. Um, enjoy the show. I don't know what that means. I'm going to cut that. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. We need the help. We need to get to a thousand subscribers. Like this video, send it to a friend. And if no one's told you today, guys, you're a 10 out of 10. Happy St. Patty's Day. That was good. That was for real good. So good. I'm not even playing. Oh, man. And actually, two pieces of cheese was perfect. Three would have still been great, but... All right, Mr. Review Board, enjoy. Oh, did you keep filming? <laughs> nice.